What's up, everybody? Dre back at it again with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Battlefield 2042. Ah, so they finally announced it, huh? Yes, for those of you that are currently living under a rock, EA or DICE or both dropped the trailer the other day. I just thought that I'd talk about it because I had some thoughts on it. I really wanted to share it, so yeah. So first off, I want to say that it's not a gameplay trailer, but it's a trailer nonetheless. I got to say that the trailer was pretty badass, and it made me want to go and get it. My cousin was like, this trailer is basically member berries. Like, do you guys remember that? map from Battlefield 3 where you jump off the platform to get into the real map? Do you remember? You remember. Cause I remember. I remember. You remember? Do you remember a mongoose going up to the top of the building then crashing into a helicopter? Remember? Remember? You remember. Remember hopping out of a jet and shooting another jet with a rocket launcher and then getting back into your original jet? You remember? You remember. Cause I remember. You remember. Remember knifing someone from behind and getting the dog tags? You remember? You remember. Cause I remember. You remember. So I definitely think that DICE knows its freaking player base. They're using that nostalgia with the cool new stuff. That's pretty cool but snap back to reality is it a trailer that got me excited mm yes and no because i don't know if you've been following what i've been saying over the past couple of years but after battlefield 5 i said the only way that they're gonna bring me back is if they come out with a bad company 3 or a 2142 or a game that's close to like battlefield 4 you know because i feel like the peak battlefield game was battlefield 4 in my opinion well with this trailer that they showed off it is in the future but it's not necessarily a 2142 it's a 2042 and it seems like it's a game that's going to be a lot closer to battlefield 4 in terms of like its modern dayness and hopefully customization switching out weapons and whatnot but yeah the real reason why i'm actually getting this game is because i just feel like you know something is missing right i've been going back to games like battlefield 5 battlefield 3 and battlefield 4 recently to fill the void because i just felt like something was missing and i've been having a blast with those games but i would really like a brand new battlefield that isn't abandoned and riddled with hackers that's honestly the main reason why i'm gonna get this game just because i'm missing battlefield in my life you know but that doesn't necessarily mean that i'm happy because this is still a 60 dollars game only to get a multiplayer without a single player now i'm not saying that i like battlefield single players like for the most part i think that they're pretty mediocre pathetic like the only ones that i actually quite liked were the ones from the bad company series but at least the single player would justify the 60 dollars price tag like does this battlefield justify the 60 dollars price tag like we're only gonna get like what seven maps that are pretty big like if you're only gonna have seven maps and these maps better be freaking destructible like like, I want a crater where a building was once standing. I saw an ice map. Like, I better be able to, like, shoot the ice and then have people fall into it. That freaking destructible right there. And have really big natural disasters. Like, they showed off a gigantic tornado. There better be, like, a natural disaster in every single map for that price tag. 128 players, which is a first for the Battlefield franchise. Like, I'm pretty sure this game is going to be ridiculously chaotic. Which Battlefield has almost always been, to be honest. So I think that they're definitely going to nail that. But is it worth the $60 price tag? I don't know. You tell me. A big turnoff for me was hearing about the 10 specialist there's like 10 characters that you can pick from and they have at least like two perks or two specialties uh, i didn't actually read all of the specialties that they had but i was not a happy camper I'm like oh my god this better not be like a rainbow six siege sort of deal but i guess that it kind of is god i hope they don't start doing like stories for freaking each character like i could give a rat's ass about this wilka's Casper Van Dale Dally, however the hell you say his name. Like, I'm open to new things, but Battlefield doesn't need to be a hero shooter or an operator shooter, however the hell you want to call it. I just want to play the damn game. Give me that sniper class. Give me that medic class. Give me that engineer class. Engineer is my favorite. I fucking repair tanks, shoot tanks, hop in them and blow it up. That's all I want. But again, I'm, you know, judging it just a little too soon here because I haven't actually seen any gameplay. The gameplay is going to come out on June 13th when E3 is coming out, I believe. So I guess we'll see how this system works but the good thing about it is that every gun is interchangeable between all of these characters so you can use whatever weapon you want now this could be seen as a good thing and a bad thing because like what if one of these characters has like a bullshit freaking perk or specialty where you could like cloak yourself and then you could add a sniper to yourself and you could just be invisible sitting in the back of the map but just capping the shit and shooting shit like i don't know how to feel about that you know somebody's gonna find a combination that's gonna be so bs like i, I can feel it in my freaking bones where it's either gonna be 
meta or it's gonna be something that's just way OP. Like, I think the question that I wanna ask is how they're going to balance the system out. Now, what's gonna stop players from just simply going one character the entire time? Like, why would I go to a different character if I only like this one character that I have on my roster here? Like, the only characters that I use in Rainbow Six Siege are Glass and, uh, and Frost. Those are like the only two characters that I ever use, just to give an example. So yeah, I'm not too fond of the specialty system. I really hope it's not the way that I just described it, but I guess we'll see once we actually get into the gameplay. So yeah, according to their website, they're saying that they're going to bring back updated multiplayer modes like Conquest and Breakthrough. What do they mean by updated? Are they actually going to like add more things than just running up and capping an objective? Or maybe I'm misreading that and they mean that they're just going to bring back every single game mode from the previous game. That would be interesting. But is it worth the 60? Uh, I don't think so. But they're going to be adding Hazard Zone. Squat up and drop down into the Hazard Zone. An all new high stakes multiplayer experience. Stay tuned for more information later in the year. 10 bucks says that this is a battle royale. I bet you anything. I mean, multiple people told me that this wasn't going to be a battle royale, but I don't know. This one just strikes me as one. I really don't like battle royales. And if it is a battle royale, this just gives me like another reason as to why I'm just like, uh, I don't know. And if it is a battle royale, this is just kind of really confusing because I think the battle royale that was in Battlefield 5 kind of flopped. Like, why would anybody think that they'd like it here? It doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, I know that Battlefield is in like the casual market, so I mean, I, I, some people might like it, but somebody like me, I don't, I really don't like battle royales. I mean, I know that making battle royales are like ridiculously easy because like when the battle royale like craze was going on, every single company was like trying to add it to their game and they did it relatively easy. So I get it. It would add to the game if they actually had it, but uh, just, I don't know. But enough about battle royales. I feel like I'm going into a rant there. So if the game is going to be $60, which I actually hear that console games are now going for like 70 actually, I really hope that that money goes towards the servers because the server have never been great especially on launch when it comes to battlefield games like if it's gonna be an online game with a bunch of freaking battle passes and stuff like it might as well be freaking free because it's honestly not worth it at $60 they should literally take down the price like put it down to like 40 or 30 or just make it free because they're gonna give me a battle pass and they're more than likely gonna put microtransactions in there because EA again this is all just speculation like I'm just guessing like it doesn't actually say that they're gonna add microtransactions but if I know EA and they're gonna do something like that but I don't know they're, they're saying that they're trying to turn a new leaf trying to get back with the gamers but i guess we'll see so the trailer has me hyped enough to go and get it i'm hoping that the gameplay is just as good as the trailer honestly i did like battlefield 5's gameplay so if it's just like that but better then i'm definitely gonna like it but again a big turnoff for me is just the freaking specialty system like i hope it's not like rainbow six siege like at all but maybe i'll give them the benefit of the doubt maybe it's gonna be something good maybe i'm being a bit too harsh on it who knows maybe it's gonna be something that i quite like but again Again, it's like, what was wrong with the class system, you know? But yeah, that's all I really got to say about that. Uh, what are your guys' thoughts? Are you someone that's gonna get this game? Are you skeptical about that system? Do you really think that this game is gonna be a comeback for Battlefield or, or what? And where is World War 3 in the midst of this? Let me know what you think down below. Definitely can't wait to see the gameplay trailer on June 13th, I think it was. June 13th, uh, during the live event, which I'm thinking about streaming, I'm not sure, but yeah. So I'm gonna end it here. If you enjoy the fact that I cover games like Battlefield 2042, then be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon. Just send two bucks a month. It really helps. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. You never know. You might find something that you like on the channel. Stick around. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.